once again my dear students of grade 9 welcome back to my english class uh, students uh, it's rk english youtube channel today in this class students uh, we are going to discuss all the exercises of reading first from unit number 14 uh, students in our previous class we have discussed uh, is uh, it's a text already and now today it's time to discuss all the exercises of this reading part 1 we will discuss its grammar part speaking and writing question and answer and all let's start the text uh, let's start the exercise of this uh, reading part 1 students we have first exercise that is number a match the following words from the text with their meaning uh, students in the first exercise you have to match the given words here with their accurate meaning on the uh, right side here the first one is that we have a drought you know lack of water and here's the answer this is a five number it's a long period of time when there is a little or no rain means a scarcity of water and lack of water and the b number is excel it's a number 3 answer here to be very good at doing something now c number is a hieroglyphs it's a second number a picture represents a word you know <coughs> a syllable or sound and d number is here it's a dominant a dominant students uh, it's uh, having some controlling you know controlling something or someone somebody uh, it's a seven number answer here more important powerful easy to notice than other thing and in concentration is a five number it's a six number students a lot of uh, something one please and invasion in one number and instant of large number of people in okay arriving somewhere and the excavation is number 4 digging of something uh here students so it's all about your exercise number e now it's time to move next exercise this is number b now in exercise number b students we have uh, find the words in the text and fill in the crossword puzzle here students in this exercise a crossword puzzle is given here and you have to find the words okay in the text and you have to fill in the cross puzzle here and cross side we have a number 2 we can see here number 2 here is a number 2 and words start with it's a, a s you know the first letter of the word is s uh, you know uh, in the text students uh, here is the word this is succession you know people who follow each other in time or order the right answer is what is succession in the fourth number we can see here a loss of power and uh, prosperity or status it's a number 4 you can see the word starts uh, with d number okay d it's a letter d here it's a downfall and number 5 completely with regard to every detail here is the number 5 the words Uh, the word start with letter t here okay it's a true and six number a union or association form uh, formed for mutual benefit it's a, a six number we can see that uh, the word start with the uh, a okay uh, it's a lines now it's downside the first number complete uh, disorder and confusion it's number 1 uh, you can see here okay the word start with c it's a chaos and the second it's a number 3 very complicated complicated and detailed it's a, a number 3 is here you can see it's a number 3 students so the word the first letter is e uh, it means elaborate and is the right word and the number 7 here to use all of something to that there is none left is uh, the first letter is again e here that is exhaust okay completely tired we can see and now it's uh, number c here we have uh, choose the correct answer students so in this exercise you have to choose the correct answer options are given here and you have to choose the right one here uh, students first one is when did the maya civilization reach its height yes students if you have studied the text carefully Uh, then you will be able to answer all the question here the first one is i think uh, i hope that you have understood all the text and uh, now you are able to answer 
of this question here. The first one is uh, when did the Maya civilization reach its height? It's a uh, number one. It's a uh, sixth century AD. You no, know? they are you know uh, they are at the high peak. And uh, B number why went the Maya unlikely to you know be in invaded by the Mesoamerican? The first it's a uh, second one. Okay, they were concentrated in a particular area. And C question here, what has fascinated researchers about the Mayas from the southern lowlands? And here is the answer that is the first one, the stone city is the right answer. D number is which period of the Maya civilization is considered the golden age? Yes, student, which period was considered the golden age? Uh, we can consider the second number here. The classic period was considered, you know, the golden age during the uh, Maya Empire. E number, whom did the Mayas consider their god? Yes, uh, whom uh, did they consider the god? They always consider nature, the god, okay? They consider nature, the nature, the god. And F number, according to scholars, which of the following is not the cause of Maya downfall? Yes, uh, which of the following is not the main cause of their downfall? What was the main cause? Not, uh, not uh, what was uh, not the cause of their downfall. It is the foreign invasion. Okay, they are not attacked by anyone. And uh, it's a D number. We have again match uh, the paragraph with the respective information. Here, students, you have to match uh, this paragraph. Okay, uh, it's a uh, here is uh, some information given. You have to match with the uh, the paragraph. Okay, according to the with their respective information the first one we have is a okay uh, it's a uh, one number is you know first one is uh, okay it's a third one achievement by the maya civilization in different sector is the first one then the second paragraph it's uh, information is here it's a four place where the maya lived in the second paragraph we talked about the place where maya civilization okay my people used to live there in the third paragraph we have talked about uh, achievement uh, yes uh, it's a phone number we have talked about the categories of the place where they used to live uh, students i think you have studied very care you know very carefully all the paragraph uh, i hope uh, you can do that uh, this one is uh, fourth number is uh, in the fourth paragraph we have talked about the occupation their occupation okay on the earliest Maya society now in the fifth paragraph it's uh, second number uh, we have studied about the number of people in the Maya civilization okay uh, we have talked about the population and the their existence in the uh, it's a uh, fifth paragraph now a sixth paragraph we have studied uh, about the uh, here is the uh, yes sixth number the spiritual of the Maya uh, people in the seventh paragraph we have talked about the time when the downfall of the Maya civilization started in the in the seventh paragraph uh, we talked about their downfall and uh, their uh, why their uh, civilization you know uh, was uh, going down and uh, that we talked about in seventh paragraph. The eighth paragraph is here. It's again we talked about the fights with the neighboring states as a possible cause of downfall. So this is all I have, my students, and uh, with their respective information. Now it's time to move. Uh, uh, it's an E number exercise. Why is the study of history important to us? Prepare a mind map of your thoughts and discuss with your friends. In this exercise, in E number students, you have to uh, tell, you have to see that why study of history is important to us and you have to prepare, you have to think about that and you have to discuss your thoughts, your friends. Here in this exercise students, uh, I have written an uh, uh, answer of this exercise. Have a look at the answer first. Here my dear students, uh, answer of E number is here. I have written okay and you can write from the students uh, as you know students history uh, is important too because it's essential for of you know all of us in understanding ourselves and the world around us 
and there is a history of every field you know students and topic from med you know medicine to music to art know and understand history is absolutely necessary every two the result of historical study are not as visible and less okay immediate uh, in the second paragraph history can help provide us with a sense of identity this is actually one of the main reason that uh, history is still taught in schools around the world historian have been able to learn about how countries families and groups were formed and how they evolved and developed over time when an individual takes it upon themselves to deep uh, and, uh, dive deep into their own family's history they can understand how their family interact with larger historical change did family serve in major war war they present for significant event history gives us a very clear picture of how the various aspect of society such as technology governmental system and even society as well worked in the past so understand how it came to work the way it is now this is uh, you know all about the importance of history students so uh, now we can say that the study of history is most important for us uh this is how students you can discuss in your class and uh, with that uh, i will move to next exercise uh here in next exercise students we have a speaking part here, okay here speaking part here in the speaking part students we have the following pictures show the changes that have taken place in the village over a, a period of 10 years so then uh, talk about the changes using you have to use students uh, used to didn't used to okay students here are the picture given two pictures are given one picture is you know student is a 10 year you know older picture in the first one and uh, then second picture is after 10 year and you have to write uh, like a story okay you have to make a story what changes do you see in the picture okay before 10 year and after 10 year in the both picture that you have to discuss in this picture uh, so here is the example like and there used to be a field in front of the village but now it is filled with houses before okay 10 years back this uh, place you know uh, used to have uh, of you know field in front of the village but right now there is uh, it's a field with the houses uh, this is how you have to write and uh, in order to write this one you need to use the used to and didn't used to means you have to write uh, the, in the, uh, you have to write about first picture in the past tense okay now in the second picture you can use your present tense also students here i have written all the answer of the you know this uh, picture the first one here this village used to look very old yes of course students can you see in the picture this village used to look very old but now it looks very beautiful and modern village now you can see okay in the first line i have used past tense for the first picture because this is older one 10 years old picture now we are talking in the second picture we are at present time and uh, here in the second sentence it looks very beautiful and modern is the uh, i'm using here present tense so this is uh, how you can use students you have to uh, you know use uh, uh, in a similar way here in the second line i have also written here there used to be very you know very you know a few houses only but nowadays there are many houses all around the village yes you can see students in the first picture there used to be very few houses but nowadays you can see here there are many houses all around in the third line i have added here there didn't used to be a school and hospital yes we can suppose that there didn't used to be uh, any school or college but nowadays there is a big hospital also i can consider this one here you can see big buildings hospital and school and the finally i have uh, written a uh, last you know uh, final line here there used to be less tree in the village but uh, you know you can see a less tree uh, okay and there are many lush green trees and plants and beautiful scenes all in the place yes you can see here in the second picture of beautifully okay green plants and a beautiful scenery over here around the place uh, this is how you can students uh, uh, you know uh, 
you can elaborate all this picture okay and uh, this is all about your speaking part first and the second one we have again pictures here we number the given picture tell a story but uh, they are not in the correct order yes students so here is a, a picture okay uh, and which tells a story but this picture is not in a correct order you have to make uh, make this picture in correct order rearrange them into a correct no you have to rearrange this picture in a correct order by writing the numbers yes one two six then in bubble and narrate the story then you have to write a story about this picture the first picture is uh, here this one you can see then second is here and i have uh, you know uh, rearrange them in a correct form one two it's a you know one two here is a two three and the we have four and five and final picture is here this side and uh, now students i have uh, narrated the story okay uh, about this picture have a look at the story first yes students here is the answer of uh, b number speaking part one and this picture you know shows a story about this uh, is a story about two gods you know two wise gods you know gods and this is a story all about two wise gods here i have written a story students in the first uh, picture you can see okay it's a breeze and a river also there and you can see once upon a time there was a large river yes there is a large river you can see in the picture uh, yes you can consider it's a village uh, then you know cut uh, across a deep cross uh, the town people built a small narrow bridges across the river to cross it and now and uh, the bridge being narrow could you know only accommodate one person you know crossing at a bridge this you know first one we can see this this bridge was very narrow narrow and only one person can, you know could cross it at a time and uh, in the second in the second picture we can see what do you see here yes one day a god was crossing the bridge at the other end of the bridge he saw that there was another god you know coming from the opposite direction since the bridge could not accommodate one person at a time it was impossible for both a god to cross it simultaneously uh, yes students you can see in the second in the second one picture uh, one day a god you know wanted to cross that bridge and uh, on the other side he also see saw uh, another god coming okay from the opposite side but uh, as you know that that bridge was very no narrow and uh, at a time both the god uh, could not cross that bridge okay and uh, now third one here uh, the god stood in their place and waited for the other to retreat but neither of them was willing to back down to let the other pass the first god said then said i am the older god so you should allow me to pass first the god, other god denied and said i am a stranger stronger one so i can across the bridge faster you will not amble along because you are old and dear students two uh, got to start you know doing you know start arguing each other that you know one is uh, one say that he is uh, you know it's uh, stronger than other and uh, they were not agreed to you know go back and didn't decided to go back then uh, uh, the first god uh, took offense to what the other one said and continued although i am older i am stronger than you the second god didn't want to accept that and both the god soon got into fight to prove to each other their stand uh, students what happened you know both god didn't uh, you know they didn't decided to go back and finally you know they had a you know fight between um, fight between both the gods and they started showing their strength over there now in the then uh, it's a fourth picture then what happened then got then goats locked horn and fought for you know fiercely on narrow breeze in no time they lost their balance and fell into the river the strong current swept the god away causing them to drown and disappear into the deep water yes students so uh, there could be a uh, you know danger for both of them because they start you know fighting you know for, forcefully and that and th th this can th this could uh, let both of god to fell into the uh, river 
and uh, now in the fourth fifth picture you can uh, see here after the incident uh, two other gods faced one another in a similar situation these gods also got into an argument about two uh, who should be be the one to cross the bridge first just when it looked like things would take a turn for the worse so one of the gods stopped the argu argument and he said stop this bridge is too narrow for us to settle our dispute with the fight if we continue this uh, we will both fall into the river and dies instead i have a plan then in the fifth picture student they start showing their wisdom of what they decided not to fought each other rather they should uh, decide it uh, you know to show their wisdom and uh, finally they realized that if they start doing like this and they uh, might fell into the water and uh, they can they could die and the last picture we can see here the wise god uh, went on okay to explain the plan he said i will lie down on the bridge while you walk over me that way we can both make it to the other end the other god understand the logic behind the idea and realized it was the sensible thing to do he did exactly as the first god instructed and both them made it cross safely and the finally student they managed to cross the river managed to cross this bridge because of their wise wisdom you know because of their wisdom and uh, finally they managed to cross the that bridge uh, students so uh, here is the moral of the story anger and ego leads to destruction humanity leads to fulfillment okay so this is the moral of the story students i have written this story uh, you can write in st this story students in your own way also uh, with the students i uh, move to next exercise next exercise students it's a uh, grammar one grammar part one here in grammar uh, one a number is compare what samita said in the past and what she sees now yes students you have to compare these sentences what she said in the past and what she says now okay uh, five years ago and now today and uh, i have uh, students uh, now here is the you have to you have to make sentences using again used to didn't use never use okay as in the example here you can see she used to travel a lot but she doesn't go away much these days students in the sentence you can see in the first line uh, we are uh, we talk about okay five years ago and now we have we talk about these day and uh, here in the exercise you just need to compare okay about sunita what she said before in the past and uh, now what she says now here i have written the answer of this exercise have a look at it first uh, this is the answer students here uh, you can write from here the first i have uh, uh, written here she means sunita she used to travel a lot but she doesn't do much these days and the second is here students uh, i play piano five years ago okay now how we can uh, how you know uh, you know how does she what she says now she used to play the piano but she hasn't played the piano for years third one is i'm very lazy she used to be very lazy but she works very hard these days okay can you understand student uh, if you if you see the sentence here in the first be you we, uh, we have used used to here okay when we talk about their habits okay in the past we used she used to be very lazy but she's you know now very hard working these days third is i don't like cheese again she didn't used to like cheese but uh, she eats a what she eats a lot of cheese now i have got a dog again she used to have a got dog but you know her dog died two years ago uh, she used to be a hotel receptionist but she works in a bookshop yes students uh, 
again she used to have a lot of friends but she doesn't know how many people these day uh, students this is how you can write you can compare about uh, samita okay by using used to and didn't used to uh, students i think you can do this one yourself so now i think uh, i should move to another exercise yes students we have exercise number b from grammar part it's a rewrite the following sentences and using used to or didn't used to again uh, you have to use this these two phrases or sent you know words here and uh, first one is i lived with my parents okay students here i have solved all the exercise first uh, let's look have a look at the answer of this exercise here is the answer of b number exercise students grammar part one here is the uh, first one is i lived with my parents Yes, students, I used to live my parents. I have used here what? Used to. And second one, did you swim in the river every summer? Again, here is the question. Did you used to swim in the river every summer? Students, here in the second line, you know, uh, here, but uh, in the answer here, we can see we are all talking, we are talking about the past habitual fact, you know, past thing here he never smoked he never used to smoke again because it was his habit that he used to smoke and d number i played tennis at school again students we will use here what i used to play tennis at school e number blazer walked for hour to reach the nearest health post again here blazers used to walk for hour for to reach the nearest health post there was a dense forest around the village there there used to be a dense forest around the village the, in this exercise student we have learned okay about how to use used to and didn't used to and we have learned about using used to and didn't used to and never used to uh, students uh, you can you can write from here all the answer of this question and now it's a uh, time to move next one and the final exercise we have writing part one students so here is uh, uh, read the following story carefully then give it a suitable title okay yes uh, uh, students uh, here is a story and you have to you know give a suitable title of this story after re reading this story very carefully students i hope students you can do this yourself you can read and you can give a title also i hope so that so and uh, with that students i move to next exercise uh, students uh, yes uh, uh, yes students i have also written the title of this also and uh, as well as the moral of the, this story number a and here is the answer uh, yes students you can write from here the first writing answer of a writing part here king and it was it is a story about king and a spider a student it is a story about a king and a spider and uh, i have written the you know a uh, short title here and this is the moral patience is more important to get success the b number exercise we have it was it is a story about a, a selfish king okay selfish king the first one is uh, a king and a story here is the you know readable uh, stories based on the given outline here and the here is the answer of b you can write from stu students uh, and with that students i come to an end of today's class here i will be back very soon with the next text and exercise uh, till then students keep watching my videos see you in the next one have a good day my dear students